Hi, my name is Ashnell, and I'm making a game called Grandpa High on Retro. About two weeks ago, I released the announcement trailer for the game, and the internet received the trailer with at least 98% positive. The comments were highly positive, except a couple of people that disliked the trailer, not because of the content of the trailer, because I did not follow the rules for modern game trailers. Let me explain. They did not like the beginning of the trailer because it doesn't show immediate action at the first second of the trailer like every movie trailer that is coming out. Does trailers they show around three to five seconds of random action to then start again with the official trailer? Let me tell you a little secret from someone who work in the film, music video, and commercial industry. If you know the rules, you can break them. Let me tell you why. If I show the first 10 seconds of the trailer for Grandpa High on Retro to an eight-year-old, you will notice that they will fall asleep. But after researching my target audience with YouTube, I noticed that my target audience are from 25 years old to 45 years old. I know if I edit the trailer like Mr. Beast videos or like Coco Melon to try to sell Grandpa High on Retro to a younger audience, it won't have work because I had to create a game with stylized graphics like Fortnite so I can capture the attention. And plus, Grandpa is smoking weed from a bong at the end of the trailer. So, instead I show the first 10 seconds of the trailer how retro is the game using the game cutscenes jokes and the plot of the game so I can make my target audience from 25 to 45 years old a reason to play my game instead of random overstimulated action scenes that will put them to sleep. Or worse comment on the video, this is shit. And uh, now if you look at my YouTube analytics and my Steam analytics, you will see that it works not only people that are between 25 to 45 years old watch the trailer, but it has a 72% of audience retention. And without any promotion except for the trailer and a devlog, the game managed to have 756 wish lists so far on Steam in less than three weeks without paying any promotion. So please don't listen to YouTubers that are so focused on views, because the trailer of your game is not for everyone. The trailer of your game should be focused to your audience. Do you can have quality subscribers and quality wish list? Please let me know your thoughts on this topic because I see many YouTubers talking without any kind of proof if they reach their target audience for their game. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you are interested on watching the trailer of my upcoming game, Grandpa High on Retro, click on the thumbnail video you are seeing on the screen.